Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little bell notification if you want to be notified for when I make new content. I usually do uh, gameplay and story time videos on this channel and I normally upload about once every week. And in today's video, I am going to be designing my little secret beach. Which, disclaimer, I ran through about three different design ideas when I was doing this. Um, and I finally settled on a kind of like bus stop, train stop little idea, which is a common theme on my island. Um, it's the only cohesive theme that I have going on. And it was fairly fitting because I use a warp pipe to get to my secret beach. Um, I, I don't know if you can tell there, but I was initially going to dig out a whole thing for staircases. And I was, no, I abandoned that idea, never filled it in. And now I just use a warp pipe because I have it directly at the front entrance by my house on the island and it's easier for me to just hop on and off if I have to go see um, red. So as you can see here, I initially was going to go with like a weird like beachy theme and that's only because everywhere I looked on Pinterest for design ideas for a secret beach, it was all like this deserted, piratey, treasure island thing. And a lot of people already either dug out like clear access to the beach or they had this elaborate staircase, which I was not. No, thank you. I do not have time or space for this. Um, no. <laughs> Just no. But it was consistently the same, like, three themes. And I was like, you know what? If it's trendy, I'll do it. You know, we'll, we'll make a little secret beach getaway thing. Also, I don't like how you can't put the pattern all the way up to the waterline. That was definitely the most annoying thing out of laying down, like, custom patterns on this section of my island. It, this area was also so small to work with that it was, oh, it was probably, this is definitely one of my top three most annoying areas to design on my island. Um, it's definitely tied up with like all the little rock areas just because they're so awkwardly shaped. You go to try to put down a pattern, it won't let you. You go to put down an item, it won't let you. You try to rotate an item, it won't let you because the space is just so small. I'm going off on a rant because that's how mad I was about it. <laughs> but rant aside, I know I mentioned in my last video that I ordered a ring from Vivian Westwood that they told me would be in in like two months. Guess what folks? It came in in like four days. I was pleasantly surprised. But it was also hilarious because the email that they sent me to say, hey, your stuff's being shipped out, was this really sketchy UPS email. It was like... And I wasn't expecting this thing to be sent to me for like another two months. And it was so sketchy that I had to ask one of my co-workers if they thought the email was legit. Like, I felt like a senior citizen. Like, I was about to be bamboozled by a phishing scam for an email for a random UPS thing. Like, it didn't even have my name or anything on it. It was just like, hi. Your order from this random shipping company, which when after I googled was from the UK, is uh, it's being shipped out and you'll be expecting it within like a couple days. And I'm just like, what? It was... <laughs> this is so embarrassing because I actually, after I asked them, I even went on Reddit to say, hey, like, y you people... Are you generally knowledgeable? Like, let's see what other people have, have, have they have experiences with this? Is it legit? Is it not? Let's see what the consensus is. And a lot of people, after I looked through like a couple threads, they were like, yeah, this is actually legit. This is the sketchiest thing ever. It just kind of says, hi, your package is going to be here within this amount of time. And then there were other people who were saying, no, this isn't legit. And so, so many of those threads were so old that I couldn't tell if they were still reliable or not. Like, does this ever happen to you guys? Like, you get an email that is questionably legit, but very well could, easily could not be. And you have to search on the internet to see whether or not the email is legit. 
And it wasn't until I got a confirmation email from Vivian Westwood to say that my ring was being shipped out. Like, until that point, I was questioning this email the whole time. Like, it bothered me so much. Like, you don't even know. And, because I'm like, it looks so legit, but at the same time, so sketchy. Like, and every, like, oh, there was a huge part of me that just wanted to, like, click on the tracking. And there's another part of me that was like, no. Like, if I click on this, like, someone will steal my identity or something outrageous. But luckily, you know, everything was fine. I got my ring. Um, you would think that a company like UPS or Vivian Westwood would kind of, like, step up their game a little to make sure that their email notifications are, you know, less sus looking. But whatever, we got the ring. It's cute. But, the, like, the ring, though, like... Even, it's a really great product and everything. Like, I really like the ring. But, um, my credit card bill this month was... Oh, it was pretty insane for me. Like, <laughs> I don't even want to say how much it is, or was, because I paid it off, but... Bro. I don't know, there's something about, like, your birthday month. Like, aside from, like, buying gifts for yourself, um like other adult things like paying your bills and then every like around your birthday you gotta go get the stickers for your plates for your drive your car and all this other stuff all that added up i had like a two-page credit card bill come in i had to take a seat i was like <laughs> oh my god what have i done I was like triple checking the amounts because I couldn't freaking believe it and I'm like this doesn't add up and that's when I realized that the bill was actually two pages long um, and I think the worst part was that even though I had the pricing on like the website for the ring like I had it set to Canadian dollars and it said Canadian dollars um, it was actually in US dollars um, that was really unfortunate um, because, you know, that exchange rate is just, oh, I paid way more than I wanted to for this ring. But, eh, it's too late now. It's too late now. Like, I'm just lucky I didn't have to pay duty on top of, like, this ring. Like, oh, has that ever happened to someone? Like, literally, there's been, the one time I got an item, it got sent to my house. I waited forever for this shirt and and I, after because it came to my house I didn't think I'd have to pay duty on it but then apparently FedEx was calling our house to say bro like you owe duty on this product and my mom like, like this was like years ago like my mom thought it was like a scam because apparently there was like this huge thing going around where like companies were or fake companies were calling home saying oh you have something held up at the border go pay blah 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 and he was my mom thought this was a scam the whole time and it wasn't until i got a registered mail sent to my house saying that i owe fedex duty on this stupid shirt that we realized and i was like how did i miss this how did I, like normally they call the house it would have notified me blah 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 but at the same time like i already had this shirt so I definitely see why my mom would have thought it was fake, but I just thought it was hilarious because then she finally tells me like, oh yeah, we've been getting calls all the time from FedEx saying that like there's duty on a product for you. And I'm like, you didn't tell me? No, no, I thought it was a scam. But back to the game footage here, um, yeah, it, it, oh my gosh, it took me like so many tries to try and feng shui this stupid little area and it kind of makes me think like anyone who has like decorated their little secret beach area um did you guys have a, like a hard time because it's so small or did you do that whole thing we just mowed it down or you put up a few like barrels and a treasure chest and a wooden shop sign went and put some candles on top of the barrels and a palm tree maybe and Oh, it's raining now. I don't know if the mic's going to pick up the raining, but if you do, um, there was a notification that went out. Um, it was something from Environment Canada about climate change and severe thunderstorm and hail. So if you hear that, um, that's that in the background. 
but I'm going to continue with this voiceover because I am a little late on this video. <laughs> but back to the footage though, um, yeah, did you guys have a hard time? Or did you just take like the same kind of general idea that you saw, like I did, off of like Pinterest or wherever you get your inspo from and just try to make it your own or recreate it? Because like, I don't know man. I wanted something that matched the same style as my island, and this is what I ended up with. And I think this is as good as it's gonna get, because it's just so small. And you know what? Maybe the rain is fitting, because it's raining on this day. It's like rain in 4K. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!